these religious hypocrites were angry because they got exposed. How did they get exposed? They took what was God's and made it their own. And Christ came and said, you don't have the right to do that. Here's the problem. The religious hypocrite says, okay, we'll give you God, the inner court. We'll give you the altar. You even have the courts of the Jewish men and the Jewish women, but we can use those outer courts for those lesser people, and that's our own courts that we can use for our own glory. And Christ comes in and says, no, the whole house is the Lord's. All of it, to the end of the walls, the whole thing is his. Every part of it. Same thing in our own Christian life, friends. Your whole life is the Lord's. From your thoughts, to your heart, to your actions, to your life, everything is the Lord's. Not just a part of it. Not only 75% or 90% or 98 or 99. No, 100% belongs to the Lord. Religious hypocrite says, God, you should be satisfied with the 75% I allow you to have. Christ comes in and recognizes the whole thing belongs to the Lord. The whole life. Religious hypocrite rages in unbelief, wars against the things of God, fights against it in anger and resists, lives in this hypocrisy of unbelief and wants others to conform to it and God comes in and unmasks it all. Just as Christ did here. And how did he do it? By just going back to the truth and quoting God's word. Friends, this is how we are protected in this season when our hearts are tempted and drawn into a form of unbelief. We go back to the scriptures and let God reign. Let his word cleanse us and we bring ourselves in battle against any expression of unbelief in our heart by coming under the truth of God's word.